you know, I've got to tell you, these pens are really cool. Um, I got this wonderful wall all metal pen, surprise, surprise, not, I don't know, a month and a half ago, something like that. And it is one of these. It's an early, what they called a ripple, no relation to what Waterman's was doing, you know, what uh, any company was trying to do, actually, after they had gotten that kind of aesthetic going. But the one I've got is, what is this, the 439, I think it's the 439A, is that what that is? Yeah, that one there. I think that's what we're actually dealing with here. It's got a three, yep, how cool is that? A, a three nib. This is from the 1922 catalog that I'm just slogging along with here. How cool is this? You know, ah, they came in these varieties. We're not even talking about nibs, you know, what the options were, but this is what you had to, to play with, you know. You could customize, personalize. You know, that's the size and the weight and the feel that I want. I want this one, you know, and it costs that much money. And um, I've got one of these, finally. In this pattern which you don't see that often a, a, a ripple it's crazy hello ripple this is early it's got the you know, if we can get the focus happening out it's shimmering all right anyway it's got the the wall imprint on the clip here which i can't focus on but we'll pretend, pretend i can and we'll just play with it a bit. Um, Mike Daigle, who's so great, and I spent a little time last week, Wednesday, June, I don't know, 17th or something like that. And I'm just, I'm not even really doing anything accurate here, but this is a really great 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 pen there you go This is like, I don't know, 1922-ish, something like that. I don't know what this is going to look like. I'm going to get into a strange position here to write. Zoom in a bit, perhaps. I mean, this thing is phenomenal, man. That's me. Yeah, it's awesome. This is a great pen. Uh, thank you so much, Mike, for getting this thing going. is uh, move on to something more audacious. This, this position is absolutely horrendous, but anyway, I'll pretend it's okay. But this is a really great pen. Uh, I was a little concerned at first for some reason. It's pretty great. Does that even work? I don't know. 
It's a great pen though. Oh, there we go. Oops, sorry. Oh, this is too much fun. This is a great pen. Um, check out that crazy pattern. And it's funny, you, you have to get used to how they behave and work. They're all so different. Anyway, I'll give you a taste, a bit of a comparison with the previous pen. You know, about as different, actually, as you can get from such a similar pen. That's what's so weird about it. Oh, here's the thing. That, that guy. This thing. See, it's a blue. It's very, very blue. And this nib is crazy. I mean, it's really, really good. This pen is magical. Look at that nib. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, this is really good. I'm going to put the tab on here. Around there is pretty good. All right. Okay, there you go. It's so great. I mean, it's pretty amazing what this can do. I mean, it's like a brush. 
Oh, it's funny that it keeps coming off there. It's crazy. Hold on. It's like... Yeah, an extreme exaggeration. An extreme exaggeration of a brush. Cap keeps wanting to fly away, but it's perfect anyway. Yeah, these, these things are a lot of fun. I mean, I kind of want to spend a lot of time with them. There's this thing in the way. Let's see if I can get this. Anyway, these pens are insane. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah, these things are too cool. Enjoy.